Uh, I'm James Donerke. Um, I've played at Melbourne Victory for five years and before that uh, Brisbane Raw for five years, so I've played almost ten years now. Yeah, good. Uh, we've been doing lots of doubles. The, the morning sessions are quite hot, um, but you know it's, it's good just to get to know the team um, and to meet everybody and learn everybody's names and, and start training together with, with uh, the boss as well. So um, we've got three weeks and we haven't got much time, but it's, it's been good to get, get out there on the pitch and out of the room. Yeah, it's been really good. Um, really friendly, really nice people and uh, similar. Uh, tactically to kind of what I'm used to as a footballer um, in terms of just playing attractive football that the fans like to see so um, there wasn't much to, to kind of adapt to. It's quite similar to what I'm used to and what I like so um, but no the boss has been really good and, and Harvey the conditioning coach as well and, and a lot of staff at Goa that are just are really helpful and uh, in terms of that it's been, it's been really good. Yeah, I just wanted to come and you know have my own opinion. And once I got here and trained, um, it's similar to Australian league where you're able to sign a certain amount of foreigners, um, seven in the ISL. So it's difficult for the Indian players, and they they have to really play well to, to play every week. And there's definitely players here that can do that. So um, yeah, I've been really impressed. Yeah, I think it's it's a, it's a challenge for every player to keep themselves mentally um, stimulated while they're kind of in the bubble for five months. It's a long time. We're coming to three weeks now, or I am personally. But um, yeah, look, it's something that you've got to adapt, adapt to. Uh, for me, it's it's more so while we're not training, uh, studying or, or learning new things like guitar or, or little things like that. Um, just to keep yourself ticking over. We're lucky at the moment we're doing so much training that you kind of train and sleep, so uh, that's good. But yeah, I think it's just more a mental challenge to keep yourself on top of. Yeah, I think that for me is probably the biggest one. Um, it kind of is the same feeling as a training game, which uh, takes a while to get used to. The fact that you can hear every player and even your coach on the sideline, I think, is, is the biggest one. Um, but yeah, after a few games, like everything, you get used to it and you, you need to still adapt and, and play well when there's no fans, um, as tough as that is, because you're still playing for points and everyone's watching from home. So um, yeah, just to get used to it, I think. I think um, from my experience, probably the most important thing is to, to be playing well in the league. Um, so firstly, playing well that we're in a position that we can either go into a grand final or win a premiership like Goa have done before. Um, if that's the case, then we're probably in good form to go onto the next level to play well in that competition. Um, I've had years that my teams haven't done well and then we struggle in ACL or the years that we have done really well and won things, then we can compete in that competition. So I think that's probably the best place to start. And, that's not until you know February, March, so I think at the moment to focus just on ourselves and in the league is probably the most important thing. Yeah, um, I've done a few, few interviews and I guess uh, the situation in Australia changed a lot this year going into next season where the salary cap was reduced. Uh, so a lot of players were looking at their options. Um, you know, I'm probably one of 10 now who's, who's made that the similar move. So. Look, for me, the biggest thing for me was that uh, when Goa approached me, it was, it was done professionally um, in a way that, you know, everything was clear and it was, a, was something that I was excited to do. Um, I've been in the A-League for a long time. Uh, I've travelled away to Korea and I really enjoyed while I was playing there. So for me, this is a similar thing to come away to a new country in a new league with uh, defending new players for me is a big thing as well. So, um, yeah, it's something I quite look forward to doing. I think the first time it kind of got brought to me, I was unaware that we would be in a hotel for five months. So <laughs> I looked at Goa as being a, a really nice place uh, to live and to, to see. And, you know, that's kind of where it first started. And I didn't really find out till late that we would all be in the hotel together, which is fine. But um, I think that was the, attractive thing besides obviously the team being successful before me coming in and winning a premiership so if you put those two things together it's the lifestyle and and the football which is hard to find so that was probably the biggest the biggest thing yeah i think um pre-season is short here so at the moment my uh, probably goal is just to to get as fit as i can before the season starts it's not a long time so you need to look after your body a lot 
especially this first week. Um, and then going from there, uh, Goa has got to a premiership. So I guess, you know, we have to go one further and that's probably the, the goal for me at the moment, not thinking about ACL and just thinking about that. Yeah, look, I've, I've been in um, uh, multiple of different teams in the ACL and I think the thing for me is that it, it's definitely a big uh, competition in terms of there's some massive teams like Shanghai and, and Guangzhou in China who have a lot of money. Uh, so for me, the pressure is always on these teams to do well in that competition. So as an Australian team or an Indian team, you go in as an underdog in a competition and there's not much pressure on you, which always you know, can sometimes work in your favour where the pressure's on the other team so much that they can crumble or, or panic or be nervous. So I think that's the way I kind of look at it and, and going into that competition, we have nothing to lose. And if we get one win and then two wins, you can go on a run, which I've, I've seen happen before. So yeah, that's the way I look at it. Yeah, um, look, uh, it's a difficult situation. and it, It's hard, you know, that everyone won't be at the stands, but um, I guess, look, uh, the second best option is everyone can watch from home and uh, we'll be out there doing our best to, to make sure that you're enjoying watching from home and can get around it as much as possible digitally uh, this season. So, look, uh, yeah, it's different, but I think it can, can also be a good season if we do well then hopefully by the end of it you, you never know what can happen and things might open up and we can all come and play and watch a game together so yeah.